Jesus said, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? You cannot take your Harley to heaven. You cannot go to heaven by being baptized. You say that you're a Christian country, but yet when a Christian stands up and preaches the gospel, you don't want to hear it. You'd rather go to the church and take pictures of a dead man than hear the gospel. I question your salvation if you hate the gospel. I question if you are really right with God if you hate the Bible and you hate God's word and you hate God's messenger. God's not dead. Lazarus was dead for four days. And according to the gospel of John, Jesus had to let him die so he could show everybody watching the glory of God. Jesus said, I know my Father always hears my prayers. Are you sure God hears your prayers? Are you sure? Because if you are religious, living a life of sin, God does not hear your prayers. God hears the prayers of the righteous. And the only way to be righteous is through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, for my sins. God raised him from the dead three days later. He was seen by over 500 people according to the scriptures. You can take a picture of the church. You can light candles and still not go to heaven. The only way to heaven is by repenting of your sins and believing the gospel. The Bible does not teach baptize children. That's a doctrine of the church. Traditions of men. You know, there were Jewish people watching Jesus raise Lazarus from the dead. And there were Jews that believed after the resurrection, but there were other Jews after Lazarus was raised from the dead that refused to still follow Jesus Messiah. You can see a miracle and still say, no, I love tradition.
I love my family heritage. I love my country. What about the Word of God? The Bible became flesh. John chapter 1 says that the Word of God became flesh. Jesus Christ is the Word. Jesus Christ is the door. Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Only Jesus Christ can save you from hell fire. Hell is real. If you go to hell, it's because you want to go to hell. God gives you free will. The Bible says, choose this day whom you will serve. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through him. John 10.10 10 declares, The thief does not come except to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. I am the good, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. Jesus is the good shepherd. Psalms 23 says, the Lord is my shepherd. Do you know anyone greater than Jesus? No, impossible. Jesus is the good shepherd, a good God. And he died on the cross to demonstrate the love of God. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You will never find anyone that loves you more than Jesus. He shed his blood for you. Only Jesus Christ can forgive sins. Prepare, prepare to meet your God. Prepare for eternity. You cannot save yourself. Only Jesus Christ can save you. Jesus allowed Lazarus to die. I was reading from John 10, now I'm in John 11, that speaks about Lazarus. Hallelujah. Verse 14, then Jesus said to them plainly, Lazarus is dead, and I am glad for your sakes that I was not there, that you may believe. Nevertheless, let us go to him. Then Thomas, who is called the twin, said to his fellow disciples, let us also go that we may die with him. So when Jesus came, he found that he had already been in the tomb four days.
Let's go to verse 23. Your brother will rise again. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? This is Jesus. Jesus is asking you, do you believe? Do you believe? It's very important that you believe on Jesus Christ. The Bible says, whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Do you believe? Jesus is asking, do you believe in him? She said to him, yes, Lord. She didn't say, I believe you're a prophet. She called him Lord, Master, Master. Jesus Christ is Lord. He's not a prophet of Islam. He is Lord. Martha, yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is to come into the world. Verse 38 declares, Then Jesus, again groaning in himself, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone laid against it, and Jesus said, Take away the stone! Hallelujah! Martha, the sister of him, who was dead, said to him, Lord, by this time, there is a stench, and he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? The Bible teaches us it is impossible to please God without faith. Those that come to God must believe He is God and that He is the rewarder of those that diligently seek Him. The Bible says in Romans, why do you need hope in what you see? If you see, what you're hoping for, it's not hope. Does that make sense? We hope in what we don't see. And Mary and Martha were hoping that Jesus would raise Lazarus from the dead. They loved him. Jesus also loved Lazarus. The shortest scripture in the Bible is Jesus wept. And Jesus wept and groaned because of the unbelief. People saw him do miracles, but they didn't understand that Jesus was the resurrection that Jesus raises the dead. The greatest miracle is when Jesus transforms you from a life of sin into a saint of God. Praise God. The Bible says you must 
be born again to see the kingdom of God. The greatest miracle is when somebody gets born again. Hallelujah. I don't care if you go to church. The devil goes to church. The Pope goes to church. Pedophile priests go to church. Going to church will not save you. It's not going to save the Pope either. The only way to heaven is to be reconciled to God through Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to God except through Jesus the Christ, the Messiah. Your good works, your baptism, your church attendance, even uh, giving money will not save you. According to the Holy Bible, the only way to heaven is through a relationship with Jesus Christ, not his mother. Maria is dead. So is Lazarus. Verse 41. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you heard me, and I know that you always hear me. But because of the people who were standing by, I said this, that they may believe that you sent me. Now, when he said those things, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus! Lazarus, come forth! Woo! Hallelujah! And he who died came out bound, hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Loose him and let him go. Loose him and let him go. Glory to God. That is symbolic. When somebody comes to Jesus, they need other people to come around that person and help them be restored and walk in their new found faith in Christ. That's why Jesus said, uh, you, I caught the fish, now you clean it up, glory to God. Loose him and let him go. People need each other. When you become a born again child of God, you are now the bride of Christ. That's what that means. The church, the body of Christ, and the bride of Christ, and the head of Christianity is not Mary. Come on now. It's Jesus. Messiah, he is the one in charge. The most Jewish thing a Jew can do is follow the Jewish Messiah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's the truth. 
Many Jews believe in Yeshua HaMashiach. He is the Christ. Hello. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Good. Oh, everything okay? Everything. Where do you great. come from? Which country? I am from America. You want? I was born in America, Chicago. How American was you? Italian. You want to have a coffee with us? Coffee. Enjoy yourself. But you wait. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm because you, the your gospel. voice made something I know. I know. Problems. I need some water. But no, ah, I, you want water? No, I have a water. Ah. Why you work here? No, no, I just enjoy just myself like with my husband and my friend here. Where we you came guys from, from Danica, Nicosia. We are from Greece. I'm from Greece. What part of Greece? I'm from Crete. I love Crete. Yes. Yes, I've stayed in Crete several times. You guys yes, have earthquakes yes. over there. Yes. It's the truth. I went to the church and uh, I saw you. Jesus you saw me preach the other day. I love Jesus. You saw me preach the other day. Yes. And now you see me here. Yes, I love Jesus and I am, you know, fed up with people. They don't believe, but you know, I'm always saying, "I'm sorry for your voice." It's okay. I'm gonna take a break. You have She's from Crete. Day. You have holidays. Yes. Ah. Oh.